Hello, everybody, and welcome back for another episode of my must play new VR game series. This is where I give you my first impressions on all of the latest releases and hopefully help you find the games that are right for you. There's also a special theme for today's games, as each and every one is better with friends. Now, there are, of course, links and timestamps if you want to skip ahead to a specific title, but let's start things off with Starship Troopers Continuum, currently available for Quest 2 and Quest 3 headsets and coming soon to the PlayStation VR 2. This is a story-driven first-person shooter set in the Starship Troopers universe and taking place years after the events of the first movie. Now, that whole campaign is playable in both single-player and in co-op with up to three people. Now, I went into this title a bit skeptical because it comes from XR Games, the studio that recently botched the release of Hitman 3 Reloaded. So I jumped in with very low expectations, but I was pleasantly surprised. It does feel like an authentic Starship Troopers title. There is a cool campaign with cutscenes, plenty of action. It's very fun in co-op and there's a huge leveling system. I also like the concept that you're not just a single grunt. You are psychically controlling characters from a distance. You're part of an elite team. Of basically like psychic warriors and as you get better with your psychic skills you can kind of buff the characters i really like that element definitely cool it works with the overall concept and like i said co-op is definitely fun it's not a killer when it comes to graphics and it's not the most robust or in-depth title but it's really good at what it delivers So if you're looking for a fun campaign that you could play with a bunch of your friends, or you're just a massive first person shooter and Starship Troopers fan, then you should definitely go ahead and check out this title. Now our next game is The Last Stand, which I actually did a full gameplay video on. This is a mixed reality PVP multi-location shooter. Similar to Soul Assembly's other title, Home Invasion, this game puts your real life environment under siege by zombie-like creatures. Now you can play this in single player and the title is true to its name, where you find out just how long you could hold out against a never ending army of zombies. But what truly makes this title special is that multi-location PVP. Now if you do want to know more about this game, I'll link to my gameplay where I killed Steve Nose over and over again. Yo, I'm unbeatable. That's just, hell. just relax and give up because I'm unbeatable, bro. But like I said, it takes my real life environment and his and turns them into an under siege zombie environment where the level we were playing, we were inside a mall. So between us was a mall and I'm in my room, he's in his zombies are coming in and we're shooting across at each other while also defending ourselves. There's a bunch of other mechanics and nuances to the game that make it extra fun. And if you're just looking for a really fun mixed reality shooter that you could play with friends, this title's a no-brainer as it's only $7.99. But now I save the best for last, the game that definitely impressed me the most this week, and that was Spatial Ops. Now I'm not actually gonna call this one better with friends. I'm gonna say it's completely different with friends. I did play this on location with a bunch of other content creators. We went on vacation together, we were in a mansion, and we ran around playing Spatial Ops, the arena mode, which is still in beta, but it's really fun. It's almost like playing a type of paintball in real life. That's the best way to describe it. Make up your own environment. You're hiding behind fake cover, picking up, you know, imaginary weapons and fighting each other. There's two different game modes, capture the flag and team deathmatch. And honestly, it's really fun. That's a great experience, but what honestly blew me away was the single player campaign. This is really an on rail shooter, which I know will turn off a lot of people immediately, but they have this really cool mechanic where portals just open up all around you, behind you, right, left, on top of you, in front of you. And basically you're gonna be behind cover, ducking bullets, taking out enemies, and it's really cool. And since it's not a full VR environment, they can really pump up the graphics because they're only displaying so much at one time. I was impressed across the board, thought it was really fun, definitely worth checking out. Another great title from Resolution Game. Fire. 
but like I said, I know on rail shooters aren't for everybody. However, this is easily one of the best I've ever experienced. That whole portal mechanic never gets old, and there's a cool leveling system that oddly reminded me of playing Robo Recall. You could replay the levels collecting more and more crystals, and from there you'll open up more slots to carry additional equipment, plus there's plenty of other unlockable weapons and upgrades. So if you want a fun and engaging shooter that you don't need to take too seriously, this game is really easy to recommend. And that right there was my first impressions on this week's new releases. Now I know we're currently in this era where we're getting big, almost AAA style releases like Batman and Metro, but honestly, those games aren't for everybody. Metro, the fear factor people can't deal with, or it's just too mature, or they have no interest in storyline. Some people play VR just for fun, and I gotta say, games like this definitely hit the mark when it comes to the fun factor. Now, if you guys have any additional questions, let me know down in the comments if I forgot to go over anything. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and as always, I'll see you guys on next time.